Hello friends, this video on why do we fall ill part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now try to see what is vaccination. You all would have often heard people that um, they take small kids, kids to the vaccination centers where they give them vaccines not only kids even for adults we often hear that a vaccination has come up against uh, uh, cervical cancer or a vaccination has come up against polio tetanus measles right so there are vaccines specific to a particular disease so it is it is like if you take that vaccine you will not get that disease in your life Right? So you will get rid of that disease by, get, by being vaccinated. Right? So what actually is vaccination? What actually is given to your body that makes the body not get the disease again? <clears throat> so it was in 1700s when the scientist Edward Jenner, he observed that a person suffering from cowpox did not get it again. You all would have been familiar with chicken pox these days normally people get chicken pox right you get blisters all over your body and it takes a lot of time to heal and then gradually the blisters dry off and are shedded from your body right you also get fever and lot of weakness are also accompanied by accompanied with it right so similarly there was a disease called smallpox in earlier days and it was a very deadly disease and it was found that whenever this disease happened to somebody in many of the cases people die sometimes it, it was um, it was quite severe and people were always afraid because it was an infectious disease it easily transferred from one person to another so people were afraid to go near that person so sometimes it also happened that people were afraid even to take care of that person but at the same time it was seen that somebody who got smallpox again did not get smallpox in his later life right so it happened only once in a lifetime it was an observation right so this scientist edward jenner he observed that cowpox so that was also a kind of pox which happened which were generally seen i mean which generally came from cows so it, it was generally seen in the cowboys and people who took care of the cattle so he saw that people who had cowpox was you know, less severe than smallpox. In fact, it was very less severe when compared to small, smallpox, right? So it was Jenner's observation that a person who had suffered from cowpox once, he never got cowpox, neither he got smallpox ever in his life. So that sounded quite interesting and convincing to Jenner. So he did an experiment. He experimented with a cowboy. He gave him a cowpox vaccine. So what is a vaccine actually? Now, what is vaccination? It is a process in which vaccine is given to improve the immunity of the body against a specific disease. So a body will get a disease or not is all about immunity of the body. So in vaccination, what do you do? You actually either give injections or you give some uh, drops of uh, vaccine so it is a medicine which is given to the body it is not actually medicine what is vaccine i'll tell you later so this vaccine is given so that the body's immunity increases against a specific disease so if the immunity increases then whenever the disease will attack the body the immunity will win and the person will not get that disease so that is the logic now the question is what is there in that vaccine which helps to improve the immunity so vaccine is a biological preparation that resembles a disease it is like let us suppose let us take the example of smallpox right not smallpox let me first complete the story of edward jenner right so as i was telling so what he experimented he gave cowpox vaccine to a cowboy so what was that cowpox vaccine it was um, a sample of the microbe which causes cowpox now cowpox is also caused by a microbe so a sample of that microbe maybe a very weak microbe or a dead microbe but which is a similar microbe which causes a cowpox that kind of microbe is injected inside the body of that cowboy now what happens the immune system sees that for the first time sees that microbe for the first time 
right so the immune system tries to fight back now since this in the vaccine the microbe which is given it is a very weak microbe or uh, a dead microbe therefore it does not uh, harm the body too much so the immune system is able to manage that vaccine but at the same time the immune system recognizes that microbe so the next time it attacks the body again so the now immune system knows that this microbe can cause this so he knows the opponent's strength so now the immune system attacks with greater strength and as a result the immune system wins so did you understand it let us suppose if there is a fight between you and your enemy so the first time when the enemy attacks you you don't have any idea about the strength of the enemy right so some there is a possibility that you might get defeated but the next time when the same any enemy comes and attacks you you know the strength of the enemy so that is why you will fight back with greater strength and you win so that is why people who suffers from smallpox or cowpox once they never got it again in their lifetime because the first time they suffered it the, their immune system recognized that microbe so the next time when the microbe attacked the immune system fought back with greater strength and as a result the immune system won the fight and the body did not suffer from the disease right so using the same logic edward jenner prepared a sample which will resemble a microbe that caused the disease but at the same time he made it of dead or very weak microbes because if he give if he puts strong microbes in the vaccine then what will happen it might the vaccine itself might affect the body right so he used very weak microbes or dead microbes so in that case the vaccine did not have much adverse effect on the body but at the same time the immune system get to recognize that microbe so that next time the microbe comes and tries to attack the body the immune system is definitely going to win so this is the concept of vaccination and edward jenner experimented with that cowboy and he it was found that he never suffered from smallpox so what did he observe he concluded that a cowpox vaccine was good to not to suffer from smallpox so that cowpox vaccine was given to everybody so that they do not get smallpox and gradually this disease smallpox was completely eradicated these days we do not see people getting this disease called smallpox right so this was the first time that vaccination came into picture now following smallpox scientists started finding out vaccines for many other deadly diseases like tetanus measles uh, polio so there are so many vaccines available right so these vaccines if you take it the body's immunity gets prepared for that specific disease and that is why uh, the body does not get that disease again so i hope i have been able to explain you what is vaccination right okay so the success of vaccination the success came with the eradication of smallpox smallpox was completely eradicated with this vaccine and that is where the vaccination became a big hit many other diseases like polio tetanus measles have also been reduced to a large extent because even now we see people suffering from polio that is also because of negligence of parents to some extent because when a child is born you will see that uh, in tv also you'll get ad advertisement said right, that this is the polio day when you should come and get your child uh, the polio vaccine now it is your responsibility to take your child and get the polio vaccine right now if you do not get the vaccines then there is a chance that he might be affected by these kind of diseases right so these vaccines but it has definitely reduced these diseases to a very large extent so that is how vaccination became a big success so even now scientists are working on trying to get vaccines for many other diseases like recently they found out a vaccination for cervical cancer because cervical cancer was becoming very common amongst women these days so they found out a vaccine against that <coughs> effective vaccination now does it mean that if somebody takes vaccine against a particular disease is it that 100% he will not get that disease so how much effective is vaccination now again it depends now effectiveness of vaccines varies with the type of disease for example if we talk about smallpox 
the effectiveness was 100% because smallpox was completely eradicated. There was not even a single person who was vaccinated and still he got smallpox. So there the effectiveness was 100%. But there are diseases where the effectiveness is not 100%. There lies a possibility where you were vaccinated but still you got the disease. But then again that also depends on many factors. For example, for older people, larger doses are required because for older people their immune system is less stronger as compared to younger people right so already their immune system is not very strong so in order to make the immune system more strong you need to give more dosage of the vaccine so the dosage of vaccine should be more for older people vaccination schedule has to be followed what do you mean by vaccination schedule you would have seen that it is not that you just go one day and you take the injection you come back and it is done it is not like that they are for for different diseases depending upon each disease depending upon the type of vaccine which is give, given and depending upon the age group of the patients you have a vaccination schedule maybe they will say that you have to take this injection three times it at an interval of six months so you have to follow that schedule similarly maybe for some other disease they might say that you will have to come twice at an interval of two months to get the vaccine so it is you who has to follow the vaccination schedule right so depending upon the type of disease depending upon your age and depending upon the type of vaccine which is given a specific vaccination schedule has to be followed so if all these things are followed the possibility or the effectiveness of vaccination increases right now if suppose if somebody is 80 years old and he took the same dosage of vaccine as was given to a five-year-old kid so in that case obviously there are chances that even after vaccination he might get a disease correct so the effectiveness of vaccination depends upon all these factors <clears throat> okay so with this i will conclude this lesson on um, diseases cause of diseases how can we prevent them and how can we treat them so now it's time to look at some of the exercises thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.